Hey beauty babes, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also go ahead and turn on your post notifications to be reminded when I post a new video. So if you guys are ready for fall and you know of course spooky season as everybody else is saying, then definitely um, keep on watching because I got some good stuff coming for you guys. Some really simple and easy makeup looks. For Halloween and fall so but today we're doing a fall makeup look which is this one here so if you're ready to learn how to do this look here then keep on watching let's get started so eyebrows are already done did them off camera cleaned them up and everything also eyelids are primed and so we're gonna jump into this old fall look here but I did want to say I am going to be using these two palettes here to be creating this look so first off I'm gonna take my wet and wild blending brush here well crease blending brush I should say and we're gonna jump into the morphe X Jeffree star palette and we're gonna go in with the shade Calabasas. So we're gonna take that. And we are going to go ahead and blend it. So we're just going to put it in the crease and start blending it. And you do want to bring this shade downwards into your outer V corner and your inner corner as well. Okay, so now going in with the James Charles palette, we are going to go in with the shade Boutique, which is this one here. And we're also gonna go ahead and apply this to the crease as well. So just doing the same exact thing that we did with Calabasas, we're just gonna do the same thing as well. So we're just gonna let me get a mirror guys I need a mirror so we're just gonna take it and we're gonna pop it on like that and we're only we're try, we're doing this because we want to darken it up so we're gonna take that shade boutique and do the same thing now the colors they do end up kind of like um, you can tell this is Calabasas and you can tell this is Boutique, but later they start to like kind of come together. So, I'll show you guys what I'm going to do to help with that, like to help kind of fix that. Same, let's see here. So yeah, um, like I said, just doing the same thing bring it in inward like so and like that and then also with that same um, crease brush I'm gonna take it and I'm going to make sure that Calabasas is showing so I'm just gonna like blend it out just a little bit more and you can see the colors coming together and just kind of um, just blending so we're just gonna blend those like that oh. 
Okay. Okay, so now we got something like this. You can see the different colors. But to make it just a little bit darker, I'm going to go in with the shade Spooky. You can use, um, and it's just a, a, a black eyeshadow, so you can use any black eyeshadow. Um, like, I could have used Fastlane from inside of the, Je the Jeffrey Morphe Star 2, but we're just going to take a little bit. And I mean very, very little. Like, I'm just taking the tip of this brush and just like tapping it in and you can see the little indents from uh, me tapping so I'm not grabbing a whole lot and then um, I'm, ooh, I'm just going to add it right in here and like I said you don't need a whole lot just very very little and as you guys can tell, it's already getting dark. Then once you get this black in, you're going to go over it again with um, Boutique just to cover it up just a little. But we want it to be dark because you, you guys already know how fall colors are. This, um, you know, we got the dark burgundy reds and that's what we're trying to do so we're just adding a little bit black to make it a little bit darker so we're gonna take that and we're just going to blend it in like so and I'm gonna take this brush again and this is the Farrah 3 mini tapered blending brush so we're taking this and going back with Boutique and blending Boutique over this color again. So we're just going to pick up a little Boutique. And then you guys should have something like so. just as is just like that so it's kind of turning a little bit of purple like the burgundy and everything but um we're gonna clean that up but this is where we're wanting it to go so um on to the next okay so now we're gonna go still using the james charles palette we're gonna go in with so good which is this shade up here and we're gonna take a little bit on this brush here and we're gonna lay this in the center of the lid where there is like no color so This laid out So you, should, you guys should get something like this. You do want to blend the red, into, not like the burgundy color, into the gold to cover any harsh lines. But I'm not done quite yet. So now I'm going to do the other eye, put the gold on the other eye, and then I'm going to show you guys what to do next. Okay, so now where this gold is at, I'm going to take my long lasting glitter liquid eyeshadow and gold and put it on top of that gold i put guys i'm sorry you probably hear my mom she's trying to get her dog to come out of his kennel
So just like that, so you can get more a pop of gold. And then, like I said, we're gonna take, um, you wanna cover the harsh lines. So, you are supposed to take any type of burgundy color that you guys have, not what I have, but what you guys have. I'm gonna go back with Calabasas and blend it out to cover those harsh lines. Okay, now, time to move on to the rest of my face. Okay, so, you guys already know we gotta prime the face, and I always use my two go-to. Um, the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer and the NYX Honey Do Me Up. So, we got the two. And, if you guys, um, I don't know. Honestly, they're both really good face primers. Um, what I was going to say was let me know down below what you guys think if you've tried them. Um, because I absolutely love what they do when they work together. Um, really gets a grasp on my foundation. I got red everywhere now that's all right um but yeah gets a really good grasp on my foundation when I wear both of them together they work really well together and then this one we are going to take I apologize my dog Rocky move okay I'm back my dog's paw was um, caught on the cord of my camera here. Well, technically not my camera, um, but the stand for my ring light, his paw was caught and he was like pulling. So he got this whole thing shaken. Okay. Then just take a little beauty blender and dab it all out get it everywhere okay so now for foundation I'm using the L'Oreal Paris um, infallible pro matte and I'm in the shade 108 which is caramel caramel beige caramel caramel I sometimes say it both ways <laughs> so we're just going to like this ready guys thumbnail just kidding <laughs> I make myself laugh sometimes guys I can't sing for shit so just ignore me you know but you know, then we just gotta blend it out. Guys, I love that foundation. And again, I thank my sister-in-law for talking about it on her channel. Um, because I like it. It's very, very lightweight. It's a very good foundation. And for me, I think it's really close to... Um, wearing 
the MAC foundation I used to have because that foundation was like 10 to $11, but the MAC is like $30 and your girl don't got $30 to be spending every single time I run out of foundation, you know? So. But this is a good foundation. It's not full coverage. It is a medium coverage. But I'm pretty sure that this could be buildable um, for you to make it like, you know, maybe full coverage. But I like it the way it is. And I don't have any problems. Guys, I need a mirror. Hold on. Like, I don't have any types of problems or anything like that. So, this is just a really good foundation for me that I think, like, because I like it and I don't have, like, any issues with it. It's very, very lightweight. And for me, I feel that, like, my face doesn't get so oil doesn't get too oily too fast with this foundation the other foundation i used to use which is um somewhere i don't know i could have sworn i just saw it like a few minutes ago but you know anyways you know i'm just gonna bring some of that extra extraness down to the nick But yeah, this foundation really suits me. But anyways, now on to concealer. So let's go. Okay, guys, so we got the concealer on and we got the contour on. But I have a second part to my contour. So for concealer, I'm using the Tarte Creatless. Oh my gosh, here we go again. Creatless. Creaseless. Ugh. Concealer. <laughs> and then for my contour, I am using the LA Girl. I like Colors Contour Stick in medium, which you can get this at Dollar Tree because that's where I got it. And I'm going to be straight up honest. Okay, anyways. So, you got to blend everything out. So, we're going to blend out the concealer. And I do got to say, guys, I have... um. The reason I use to like I have a second part to my um to my contour is because this the um, contour stick is kind of uh, light on me just like a little bit I'm gonna actually blend that out like now I'm gonna blend out the nose and everything here. Like, I still got this stuff going on right here, so we're getting there. But, um, like I said, I, the reason I use, like, um, this and plus powder, um, I have a powder contour, which is the e.l.f. contour palette, which I will be going in with in a minute. But I use that because it gives a little, it, it shows more. So, I like, and I like them together because they work good together. So, if you guys have that contour stick and the contour palette from e.l.f., the powder version, not the cream version, then I highly recommend trying it out because they work very well together. Which I will be showing you guys here in a moment. So now I just gotta blend out where I put the contour so I don't look so um, white on top. Okay, and now we're going to just this in. Just pat, 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 pat. So blend it, and then I have some here too. So we're gonna blend. she looking a little snatched guys <laughs> I don't know I find it weird when I say that stuff like st when I find it weird when I say stuff like that but anyways okay now 
Oh my god. Um, one moment. Okay, sorry. I dropped my beauty blender and I didn't want my dog to chew on it, so I had to pick it up. But anyways, um, e.l.f. Contour Palette. And I'm going in with this shade here, here, and we're just gonna go like this. A little something like that. Dust off any excess, and I have a nosy person entering my room. <laughs> Sorry, guys, when I said I had a nosy person, um, my nephew came in, but he's not allowed to be in my videos because I already got in trouble for my brother, but you know, whatever. So, and now I gotta edit him out. Which, when you guys watch this, and I said I have to edit him, edit him out if I could talk. Um, he'll already be edited out. But, you know. Jesus. Things happen. Alright. A little something, something like that. Just like so. Okay. So then, now, it's time to back. Oh god, I hope I don't burn myself. Okay. Set it butter. So um I'm gonna get all this set and everything and then um I'll be back with you guys. Okay guys, so my eyeliner is on and I also added mascara. So now I'm just gonna be dusting off the setting powder. Which you guys can tell I already got all over my shirt. Nothing, nothing new. You guys are gonna hear some talking in the background because my family, me familia, is back. Guys, I'm gonna be for real though. I only know like a little bit of Spanish, and the little Spanish that I know, I've always felt uncomfortable saying, uh, like. It's not that I feel un like I feel uncomfortable to like talking. It's just that I feel like I'm saying it wrong, like majority of the time, you know. And then the wonderful, lovely boyfriend that I have likes to laugh at me when I try. Cause like he talks to me in Spanish sometimes, and they sometimes I understand, but like I have to really like know what it means, you know. Mm. Okay, so that's done. Dusted all that off. Now, we're gonna go in with this here. This is the the balm of your hand. So, taking this and we're gonna go in with this here. And this is Bahama Mama. And it's a bronzer. So where we added contour, we're going to add some bronzer. Give it a little extra oomph. You know what I mean? No, I don't want to add it all over, you know. But just in the areas. Well, pretty much in the areas that I added the contour to begin with. So, you know. like so and then and then and then and okay then. so i found my blush <laughs> guess where it was guys right here behind me but i never known anyways <laughs> we're gonna go in with the wet and wild color icon mellow wine <laughs> guys i only did that because i was trying to talk over my mom <laughs> mom you're watching <laughs> oh she's gonna she's gonna kill me later watch anyways <laughs> oh 
Oh god, I cracked myself up. My mom's gonna think I'm fucking nuts. Anyways, just add in some blush. Give us some color. Give us some life. You guys probably think I'm freaking nuts too. I'm just trying to make this fun. Honestly, makeup is fun for me. Guys, I'm also adding some highlight now. Because, you know, I didn't say before. But. I brought the food. Two chickens left. Like if I don't answer, it's because I'm doing something. Acting like I don't know that she brought the food home. <sighs> oh my god. Anyways. Yo, I'm leaving that in there. I really don't care. My mom can get mad at me later. Whatever. I'm going to take this little brush thingy here. Because I don't know what to call it. A smudger, I think it's called. But I'm going to take it. Add some highlight to it. And I'm gonna add it to right here. Under the brow. Ooh, look at that. She blinding a bitch. Anyways, now we're gonna go in with these lashes here. Can you guys see that? I've worn them before, as you can tell. Um, these are the 5D J10. So these are 5D lashes. And thought I wasn't going to be able to find my lash glue. Okay. So. Adding these. What is happening? Oh. We're gonna add the black side the dark side the uh, dark lash glue so we're gonna put that on like so and then I'm gonna set it aside because you want it to get nice and tacky before you put it on because I learned from my beautiful sister-in-law, thank you, Lolis, that um, you actually do want it to get tacky because I actually figured out it's actually a lot easier to get them off um, instead of having like chunks of glue stuck to your eyelashes. So, but you know, it's like when you're in a rush and you got shit to do, you don't got you don't want to wait. You just want to be like, bam, boom done you know no okay maybe it's just me it's probably just me though because guys if i i take about a good hour to get ready and if i'm not ready my boyfriend rushes me and it's not only like just my boyfriend but like my parents too like if we're going somewhere so i usually have to make sure i'm ready beforehand so yeah Okay, well, I'll be back with you guys. I'm going to put these lashes on, and then the last thing will be our lips. Okay, guys, the lashes are on, so let me bring myself a little closer. I could have zoomed, excuse me, zoomed you guys in, but, you know. So here we are. Anyways, time for lips. So, then we're going to go in with the e.l.f. Liquid Matte Lipstick in the shade Red Vixen. Guys, oh, I got a good Dollar Tree haul coming for you guys soon. Because your girl already got a you guys already see my first dollar tree haul where i got all the halloween stuff we got going on here because you know we're already in october and 
also um, my fall stuff for November. So now your girl got to get her stuff for December. And oh, I have a lot of good things coming, guys. A lot of good things. I swear, I promise. I like truly promise that. <laughs> I'm so freaking extra, dude. All right, anyways. <laughs> so. Do something about these. I bet you guys are like, what the fuck? So this is what they say. To get a good, like, application, you're supposed to do this. And then you line like that. And then you're like supposed to connect. So you do the same thing on top. That was my dog. And then you just fill it in. Oh my god, no. Okay, guys. I know, I look a little crazy down here on the bottom lip, but I'm gonna fix it up. I've probably only done the oh ah! <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, we got the whole lips situated. And lastly, set and refresh mist. All of that goodness sink in. <laughs> I swear you guys are probably really like, bitch, you crazy. But you know. Anyways, so this is the finishing look. And, and yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and me billing, billing, being, my gosh, that was nowhere close to each other. Anyways, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed me being silly and I don't know guys, I just, I'm, I'm kind of tired and it's just been a long week. Honestly, I how to work today so I'm just a little tired from work and I have to go to work tomorrow as well but hey it is what it is anyways make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you guys definitely did enjoy um, learning how to create this little fall look and also please go ahead and be sure to share my videos and also leave a comment down below of what else you guys want to see but remember stay beautiful be bold and be confident bye guys